For our third reflection, we turn to Anne Albert. Okay. Um, I was asked to reflect on the prompt, I heard a sound I will never forget when. So um, I heard a sound I will never forget when I was giving birth to this guy, <laughs> to my second child. Uh, and the sound was a giggle. The sound came from his big sister, who was then three, uh, who was in my husband's arms just a few feet away. And this was, it's impossible to imagine, but almost 10 years ago. And now he's large. Um, for this birth, we were at home and we were in a dimly lit, comfy room. And I was concentrating. I was, had my eyes closed. I was tuning out everything unnecessary. I was so in the zone that my daughter's small voice came to me as if across a distance. Um, but it was only because of that quiet that I could even hear it at all. So right as the baby crowned, I heard this giggle, sort of a gurgle giggle, a kind of throaty questioning, exclaiming kind of sound. It was the sound of being startled and delighted and a little bit of, are you sure this is okay? Um, the sound that you might make involuntarily to yourself if you looked into your backpack and found a sleeping dragon or opened your wardrobe and found a snowy wonderland. It was the stuff of children's books. Um, this was fantasy, not real life. It was what? And oh, and yikes, all at once. It was spontaneous and it was unrepeatable and it was unforgettable. And it wasn't that this big sister was unprepared for what she was about to see. We had talked all about it. We had looked at photos and watched videos, very realistic videos of babies being born. Yes, we were those people. Um, it was pretty well normalized for her, um, maybe even boring by that point. And yet in that instant, when a person, a person <laughs> like started to emerge, it was still astonishing. And the laugh that she let out expressed that magic perfectly. It was that delight and some well-placed trepidation and a palpable sense of the complete weirdness of the entire affair. It was utterly unlike a public blowing of the shofar with all of its symbolism of the coronation of God as a king. Tkiagadola is regal and commanding and it cuts across a crowd and demands that we stand in community and in reverence. And it orders us in a hierarchy, calling our attention to a majesty that's beyond our own power. Tkiagadola and the blowing of the shofar is rehearsed and regular and repetitious and large. It is manifestly not like what happens in a cozy bedroom in the messy and individual and not at all upright <laughs> moment of birth. And yet we have in the liturgy, the words, the great shofar is sounded and a still small voice is heard. They are somehow the same. Mm -hmm. So the crowning of a king is marked with the sound of a shofar blast and the crowning of a baby was in this case marked with a giggle. They're both sounds that we must quiet ourselves to hear. Mm 